Howdy, do you want to know what's the best game engine out there? It's pretty easy. There is no best game engine. It's just a tool. Duke said there is a way to know what's the best game engine. Well, more the best game engine for you. And that way is with the next quadrants and the next questions you have to ask yourself to rate every game engine out there. Sources of learning. Does this engine has a lot of sources where you can learn from? Price point. How much this engine costs? Focus of the engine. Is this a 2D or a 3D focused engine? Industry standard. This will get me hired? This depends on what you want, of course. If you're an entrepreneur or an indie developer, this ain't that important. For this video's sake, I'll be comparing both Unity and Unreal Engine and also Godot. So let's begin. The sources of learning for Unity are big, with an approximate of 173 million Google results and with tools like Unity Learn website and a lot of tutorials as well in YouTube. So in this case, let's rate it as A++. In the real cases, we have plenty of options as well, with an approximate of 43 million Google results and things like Unreal Engine Learn website and also a lot of tutorials in the topic in YouTube. So, in this case, let's rate it as A++ as well. In Godot's case, the learning resources are starting to race, with an approximate of 3 million Google results and a lot of new and fresh tutorials in YouTube. So, in this case, maybe A+. Let me remind you that all of these game engines have documentation. What that means? Well, that means that you can learn further from them. Another plus. For the price point, Unity is free as long as your company have a revenue or funding of less than 100k in the last 12 months. If not, you have to change your plan into, you know, maybe a plus or a pro, but this depends a lot. Eh, and most features are available already on the personal plan. So in this case, I believe I will rate it as free and fair, so A. In the real case, it is as well free to use. But the license depends on the product you sell, so if your video game or product succeeds, you will have to give 5% of royalty to Epic. Mm. And this happens only if you plan to publish your game to sell. In this case, I will rate Unreal with a fair A. For Godot, we are talking about a free and open source game engine. So the rate for it will be an astonishing A++ Supreme. For the focus of the engine, Unity has tools for both 3D and 2D, and even nowadays we have new stuff coming to improve the quality of both. So in this case I will put 2D and 3D. For Unreal's engine's focus, I know it can do 2D, but the main focus of the engine, or what it seems, is 3D. So let's just put it. In Godot's case, we are talking about a game engine that is expanding in both 3D and 2D tools. So let's put it as well, 2D and 3D. Now you can tell that both Unity and Unreal are industry standard and, well, they can help get you hired. So in this case, let's just check both. When we are talking about Godot, well, it's not an industry standard. It may be in the future, like, you know, Blender nowadays becoming more and more used every day, but right now it is still growing. So let's put an X here. At the end of the day, we have this table and we can start comparing and making a choice. For example, if you are an indie team looking to make a 3D game, maybe select between Unreal and Unity, taking into main consideration the pricing. If you're a hobbyist who doesn't believe in capitalism, go ahead and try Goto. But at the end of the day, it is up to you. That means that, for example, in my case, well, uh, I like, I am into doing both 2D and 3D. That means that I am choosing between Unreal and Unity. But at the end of the day, I am stuck with Unity. I, I like it. I, I think the Unity Learn website and all of the, the searches and the documentation behind Unity, it is more more than useful but that doesn't mean that i will not or i will never touch 
for example, Godot or Unreal. Maybe I will use Unreal for my 3D stuffs to showcase, for example. So, at the end of the day, all of them are more than usable. Thank you for watching. Down in the description, you can find all of these game engines websites as well as the learning websites. So, maybe you want, if you want to go ahead and try your first game engine, go ahead and I hope I was useful for you. See you in the next video. Subscribe for more videos and thank you for watching. God bless and happy game dev.